Welcome to Fresh Fishing. I'm Foxy, and uh, today, no Wayne, he is on holiday. Lanzarote or somewhere like that, Future and Sierra, one of the Spanish islands. So he flew yesterday. Um, last weekend, he was on Alpha and managed to bag a 26 pounder. I'm here today with Dad, so Dad's doing a night with me. It's a Sunday, I've got work in the morning, um, so literally going to do the night and then up and up and away early doors kind of thing uh, i can work from home lucky enough so i literally just got to drive home which is just down the road but yeah we're all set up now it's just coming up 12 o'clock so it's taken a little while to get the to get the rods out and stuff but it is absolutely baking today um i think it's gonna be like 29 degrees or something but honestly like i've got the uh the sonic bivy with me today well it's just a a, a brolly really but it doesn't have any vents or anything so didn't want to bring the nash one because it's just a bit of a chew to put up so this is nice and quick to put up so but i probably could do with the the ventage the ventilation um but yeah all three rods are out now two on method feeders with a wafter and then one on a boilie setup with a parker baits fruit and nut boiler on it both wafters on a parker baits as well so I think last week Wayne caught that 26 on a fruit and nut Parker Bates wafter, so could be something in that, we'll see. Um, I've just had to go off gut instinct with two of the rods, but one of the rods I've seen a show over to the far marker, maybe like a couple of feet to the left of it, really close to the, really tight to the reeds. So I've dropped, dropped the rig there, had a couple of beeps, so it's a good sign, but as we know my form on Tees Valley and especially on Eagle not so good so um, I've got to be honest I've kind of been hoping and praying that I'm going to catch something but I'm also not really expecting anything but you never know the carp gods might be in my favour today we will just have to see for now that's the update um, going to have a little bots dad's got got us a bots and I gave him the list and he's got that so um, we're going to do that and we're going to have a little barbecue later as well so probably watch the football but yeah hopefully we can get into something fingers crossed this is old man river swim what are we saying old boy no, what do you want me to say we've only just started um we've probably been fishing for i don't know 45 minutes rods are in still setting up the uh, the swim i suppose i'm still setting up the equipment so nothing to report yet Nope, but hopefully something soon. A little bit of action to report for you. Just out here, right up to the margin, where the, uh, the white marker is. Maybe like, I think just here somewhere. Two fish boshed. So. My right rod is pretty much there. So yeah. It's a, I don't know if it's a good sign or not. Because uh, I mean it's good that I know they're there. But just need them to get the heads down. Talking about getting the heads down and eating. That's what I'm about to do. Got a, got a Singapore curry Aldi noodle pot. And some uh, crisps. So that's going to be lunch, and we're probably going to be having a little bit of barbecue. So we're going to be having that later. So yeah, I mean I'm not really that confident of catching like when it's really hot like this in the middle of the day. But it's good, good sign that you know, the fish are there and they're washing, so hopefully if I maybe get the rigs back out there, get my bait out there in that spot. Oh, there's a little beak there on that rod that's in that bay. Good signs. Come on, rip off a day.
dad and have a chill and have one of these bad boys. Bit of cider on a nice sunny day. With the rods on. You cannot go wrong. I'm just there, peg two. That's peg three, so not far to mooch if my alarm goes in there. Dad's got no receiver, so. the rods well two rods reset there um reason being i was just gonna put the rods out and leave them until like before bed but i wasn't quite sure basically i've got i had my middle rod going to like the bar kind of up to the marker there's like a little bar that runs across and I had the middle rod there and then the right hand rod right up to the reeds. So I was just a bit like, wasn't really happy with like the line lay and stuff. And I thought if, I, if the one in the reeds was to go where I've seen shows, that might cause me a bit of problem. So what I've basically done is switched them around. So my far right rod is up to that bar and on that bar. Um, and that's the one that I'm using like a bunch of boilies on. And then my middle rod's now right up to the reeds kind of close to the marker maybe like I don't know six feet to the left of the the marker um, and that's where I've seen well, I've seen a show first thing when I got it and then maybe half hour later big boss straight out of there so that's the place where I'm mo most confident in it's really hot at the minute um, I'm not if I do get a bite I'm thinking it's not going to be anytime soon I think it if it does happen it'll be when the sun starts to go down like seven o'clock you know between seven and bedtime and then maybe you know never know during the night here or even in the morning but i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave the rods for now uh, i've left my far left rod just leaving that to do its business probably reset that before bed but yeah i'm just going to leave them now and, and hope for the best really um probably do a bot soon and um yeah, I'll probably watch the Spurs Chelsea game a little bit later. So uh, it's a nice toasty day. It's really toasty, really hot. So uh, trying to get sheltered as much as we can from the sun, but pretty sure I'm gonna have a uh, decent suntan or sunburn after this one. So yeah, catch up with you in a bit. All right, that's Dad off to get the uh, beers from the car. Time for a box. I've just uh, just changed my pod up a little bit there. So I did have the bar. This is the Quest Trilogy pod. I did have the bar running all the way across. But because it's not quite level, I've gone and changed it. So I've just got these little um, sticks there so I can stick both ends in. And that's my OCD was killing me, so that's made it a little bit better. So it's nice that I've got the option to do that, eh? It was a box, mate. Box. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Beer of the Session. What is it? Box. Beer of the Session. It's a box, mate. It's a it's a box, mate. What? Oh. Do you know what? I was just—I can just see Dad's rods here, and I just saw his bobbin lift slightly, <laughs> and then a little. What is it? Is it Mohen? Mohen, yeah, Mohen. Mohen, over it. Little bastards. Little bugger. I was getting excited, and I was about to say, "You've got to run," but not—not not to be, unfortunately. Anyway, yeah. So, what time are we on now, Dad? It's like ten to ten to four. Ten to four. Nothing doing yet, but we're hoping that when the sun starts to go down, that'll be. That'll be bite time. Um, Tea time for the fish. I think by the looks of it, we're going to be the only two staying overnight. Mike, shout out to Mike Fowler, good lad. Um, he's in peg one, but he's packing up now. He's been on since Thursday. Managed to, to get a common, I think, on Thursday or Friday. So, shout out there to Mike. It's um, 20, wasn't it, as well? 20 pounder, yeah. yeah. Lovely lad. Um, but, yeah, he's off now. So, that's no one in peg one. The lad who was on peg four was on a 24, but he's 
said that the sun's beating him and he's got work in the morning early so he, he's packing up so and I think the guy in peg five looks like he's only on for a day sesh so we're gonna have the lake to ourselves doesn't mean we're gonna catch her no it means we can just uh but we can plonk our rods put anywhere. the odd uh, rod out, out at, at more of an angle yeah <laughs> so on the menu today is we've got Feltins Pilsner Feltins it's it's written Veltins, but in German it's pronounced Feltins Pilsner. And it was chosen by Hayden Lund. Lund. Yeah. Hayden Lund. Hayden so Lund. I said to Dad, I was like, I've got the last few. I said, Go on, Dad, you can get the box. So I sent him the list and he went to Tesco's and he retrieved this bad boy. Yeah, I've got I've got to make a bit of an admission on this. Um having served um and lived in Germany for over twenty years. I um, I used yeah, to mate. Uh, I used to drink a lot of Feltins, and uh, it was one of my favourite beers. And whenever we had a barbecue or we were getting a crate of beer, I'd get Feltins most of the time. So I didn't think that was go. the admission that you were going to make because <laughs> yesterday you had a barbecue. Yeah, and I got a picture sent, and what's he, oh, what's I had he a holding? Of Feltins, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd just you how know, can you do that a, before a pre warmer? Well, I know what Feltins taste like. Box. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna score it high anyway. Cause so it's, just a, it's a, a good beer. Where is it? It's from Germany, is it? Yeah. So Germany. what's that flag on the front then? That's just a Veltins brewery um, symbol. It's not a flag. That's the Veltins uh, Bra Brauerei Brauerei Veltins. It's great Gravenstein. Yeah. So four point eight percent, and yeah, it comes in a nice big bottle. We've got how many of these? We've got four. four so yeah. we've got another one when, when we're gonna have our barbecue later. Let's get them cracked open, eh? Yeah, it's um, it's a little bit different to the ones we used to we used to get them in a dumpy bottle in Germany half a litre, and they were they were nice as well. It's got, it's got that good German beer smell. Yeah, smell, yeah. Cheers, Dad. Cheers. nice I think this and Warsteiner you can't go wrong uh, German beer wise they're, they're nice beers yeah me and Wayne have done Warsteiner Warsteiner yeah the good I think we did it at Waynestones actually we'll have to get Dortmunder Cronin export online or something and do Dortmund, uh, I had a good few of them when we went to Germany last time with, with my cousin yeah it's probably Union though Dortmunder Union Pilsner right yeah yeah but yeah, it, it's a it's a it's a cracking beer, isn't it? Feltins. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, it's like it's funny because it's it's not like you don't really get any like mad flavours or anything. It's just really kind of like smooth and easy to drink. Well, <laughs> a lot of German breweries do pilsner and export, and yeah. export is a slightly different taste. But Feltins never never did an export right. for, for whatever reason. Yeah, it's really nice that. Mm. Yeah, you could sup. You could sup a good few of them. I can see why Dad would have this as his bar oh, barbecue. I've been to a few places where it was on draft as well. It was just nice on brilliant. draft. Yeah, you can see why it's, uh, it's. This is definitely a good beer to be having while you're at a barbecue, like because it's dead easy to drink. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go nine. Nine out of ten for me for Veltins. Yeah, I can't fault it. It's got to be a nine as well. Yeah, you reckon? Um, it's, it's not a ten for you. No, nah, it's, it's nothing's ever a ten, is it? We've had one ten on here before. Yeah, Asai was a ten, which is a Japanese beer. No, I give it a nine. It's Go nine. A nine, but also the fact that I've drank so many of them over the years, it's still got its good flavour and taste as it was. It is. It is really nice, and that as I'm drinking more and more of it, it's just so easy to go down. Mm. Actually, one thing I was meaning to say, or two things. One, first of all, we need to start putting a disclaimer at the, the start of this box. You should drink responsibly. Don't. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Don't kick the ass out of it, and if you're underage, don't bother. We don't. Um, we, we never bring more than just a. We don't have a kit slack handful of obviously beers. Obviously, in the past, me, Wayne had a bit of whiskey, and our old mill, I got a bit ahead of myself. But normally, we drink quite responsibly. It's just a few beers just to chill on the bank, but. 
also just a quick shout out we had shout a message out. Out. yeah we had a message from let me just double check it's from james spencer and uh, he just wanted us to shout out to his uncle paul spencer he's been watching the channel since day dot um he's massively into his catfishing so yeah just a, just a shout out to um to paul spencer hope you're well mate and all the best all the best paul right so that was a box cheers dad cheers we just want some carp now yeah hopefully we can get in some carp now see you then maybe if not probably we're gonna watch the football and we're gonna get the barbecue on soon so see you in a bit see ya here we go this is the little setup watching Thomas Tuchel complain about his boys <laughs> Chelsea are going to get to which is I'm, I like Arsenal but I don't like Chelsea they need to address them the will have a Spurs win will. please how's your ice pot? icy nice icy. cold John's just come round and uh, supplied the goods what a legend <clears throat> back to the footy <laughs> 1-0 Chelsea at the minute, FFX. Is barbecue time, it's half time, and we're just gonna get the barbie on. This little bad boy is gonna do the trick. I think there's uh, four packs in there, and I need to hope that it fits in there, but we'll make it work. This is how we're going with it. Just gotta hope it all falls in the right place. It's just gonna have to burn for a bit. Well, it needs to anyway, doesn't it? That is uh, dinner, all scrammed, lovely barbecue. We had uh, barbecue drumsticks, burgers, and mum's famous noodle salad, or pasta salad. And uh, we've got a bit of a dilemma. So, me and dad are the only ones left on, on the lake now, so we've got the pick of the pegs. And um, yeah, I'm thinking to move to peg five, because I know a few more spots in it, I'm a bit more confident in it. The wind has been pushing up into peg five and peg four, like the whole time we've been here. So the guy who's just come out of uh, of five, we just had a little chat to him, he's a nice fella. And um, he said uh, he's had his deep out and he's, you can see a load of fish there, but obviously nothing happened during the day. So I think we might be on for the upheaval and getting moved, hopefully. It'll be worth it. Well, the move is well and truly on. Vivian bed's already over there. And uh, taking the load and then all the rods are going to be coming over. And we'll be in five before we know it. Come on. Please, God, let this play off, pay off. That is us moved. As you can see... Managed to do it pretty sharpish, and uh, I've already seen some good signs over in this corner here, Bosch, and just up to the far margin here. Saw a bit of move, so uh, it's looking good. I think a lad last night at the bottom of the corner said Dad might be in for some. It'd be lovely if we could both get one on the bank. Come on, the carp gods, do us a solid. Big. 
Right, there's the old uh, magpie saying. I think three is good luck. There's six down there, so hopefully that's good luck for me and Dad. <clears throat> this isn't a pimp my bivvy, but Dad did something to his bed a few weeks back, which I thought he was being a little tackle tart over. <laughs> so, do you want to show him, Dad? What? Do you, you want to look at my... Um... My, um, I suppose it's what we call it a mattress topper. call it a mattress topper, yeah, but it's a self inflatable one. And, um, so it was 50 quid from uh, Cotswold outdoors. Is it under your sleeping bag? Yeah, it's under your sleeping bag. There, look, right there. There it is. So there's a little valve on the other side, you open that up, and it self inflates, and then you, you pull it out, and you can blow as much air in as you want and it just finishes off your bed and makes it that little bit more comfortable so I thought dad was being an absolute tart, tart when it came to this and then I spent you tried it out well no then I spent a couple of, yeah I tried it out and then I spent a couple of nights when we were away at Welford Pools on my bed and I was a bit like oh my back's a bit sore and I thought obviously we'd go to France and haven't to sleep on the bed for a week might be a good idea. So, I'm not going to show you it, but I have bought one myself, and it it's gone. It's not self-inflating like his because he spent like fifty odd quid on it. But mine was only twenty five farmers, and you blow it up. But just to blow something thing, yeah. at the start of every session is not not going to be the end of the world. And you it? can just leave it on your bed chair. Yeah, it's and leave fine. It on your bed yeah. chair, and it's just that little bit of extra comfort. So, well done, old man with a bit of extra comfort gives you. A an hour, an hour sleep more it makes all the difference, doesn't it? It does. Honestly, the uh, the amount of movement we've been seeing up this end is ridiculous, isn't it? It certainly is. Loads of movement. There's one there. So they're definitely up here. It's just whether they uh, they want to get on the munch. There's another one just moved by the lily pads. Come on, here we go. Hey up. Night message. Um, I've just actually helped a lad on Peg. Is it Peg? It's Peg one, isn't it? Yeah, that mm -hmm. one. Peg one and Alfred. He's just had a twenty-nine and a half. So that's a new PB for him. So class that. Mm. At least somebody's getting a PB. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, one of us will get a, a new PB at some point during the night. But mm -hmm. we're gonna knock it on the head now and uh, get in the bivvies. And uh, get settled down. It's but yeah, to get dark. the amount of uh, movement, movement and stuff that we've been seeing up here is Frantic. just mad. So if uh, if we don't get into anything, it's literally just because they're not they're not, not wanting to feed. Yeah. Um, I'd be surprised if one of us didn't get a bite. To be honest, at some point. So yeah, we just gotta hope and. Uh, Go to sleep and hopefully be rudely awoken by uh, the alarms. Pleasantly awoken. Yeah, pleasantly <laughs> awoken, yeah. But yeah, for now, that's that's the update. We are off to bed and uh, if there's no bites, then we'll see you in the morning. Nighty night. Right. Just had a little show out there. This is me for the night. Just got the quick overnight bivy, so no door. And uh, I'm going to watch a bit of... Uh, Wayne's team, bit of all, of, all or nothing. Downloaded a few, so uh, this is a little setup. Bait bucket and then the barbecue box. That's my little table to watch, uh, watch TV on. And uh, hope that one of them rods bends round. We can get into a nice carpy. Oh, 
Well, morning peeps. Unfortunately, no fish during the night. Uh, I think uh, Dad had to run like early hours, maybe like half four, something like that. Um, but as soon as he picked it up, nothing was on. So, sounds like maybe fish has picked it up and spat, spat the bait or something like that. But, absolutely nothing. And I've literally had the worst night's sleep ever for some reason. I just couldn't, couldn't get to sleep properly. So, I am knackered. And I've got to go to work. But I have to have a cheeky nap on my lunch break I think it's uh, 5 to 7 now so um, I'm going to start packing down already and probably get off just after 8 so I can uh, get home, get a shower and get logged on so Rod's be the last thing to come out you never know still a little bit of time, a little bit of hope Right, it's quarter past seven. Um, Jonathan just started to pack up because uh, he's, he's got to work this morning and uh, he's in, which is good. I had a, uh, a run at half past four. I got to it within probably about 10 or 20 seconds. Um, picked the rod up, uh, but there was, uh, there was nothing there. It must have... Uh, ejected the uh, ejected the bait but so it goes Can you get up in there? Yep. Feels all right. Mm -hmm. Looks it. Where is it in the middle? Is it? Get in there. Bosh, got it. Oh, that's relief. I was literally questioning myself. I was, no no word of a lie, thinking, after France, I think I'm just going to take a break from fishing for a little bit because it just doesn't seem to work for me. But thank you very much, carp gods. There we have it. 16 and a half pounds lovely uh, mirror cap and uh, honestly I've done so many blanks on eagle I am just happy to get one I, I would have liked uh, 20 but this is honestly so welcome so uh, mwah, thank you very much carp Mr Carp get in here we go back she goes we try the lip with a bit of propolis as well because Oh, you should be treating them every time, but that lip on that was a little bit beat up, so happy days. That is the rods out. 
and I'm going to be getting off in a minute but I just thought I would uh, tell you what I caught that on so um, the trusty method method feeder method feeder with a bunch of pellet and it was a fruit and nut Parker Bates um, wafter that did the trick and yeah put that out last night um, as soon as we got on the peg and just left it and it just shows that um, it's just as good as a, as a solid bag really because it's been out there all night and it's managed to, to, to do as a bite this morning so absolutely chuffed to bits with that obviously my record on Eagle is not great so just to get one and all before I start work makes it even sweeter so um, so yeah I'm going to do a little outro in a sec with dad so yeah catch you in a sec as you can see I'm good to go just waiting for dad because he's gone for a Shiite so I'm watching his rods and then uh, yeah I'm going to be getting off to wait for him to come back and then uh, we'll uh, summarise right he's back good poo yeah it was not bad not bad I've had better but you alright did the job yeah Right, so I'm heading off. Dad's stopping until 10. Um, if he gets into anything, I'll film it myself. Yeah. You got your tripod, have you? I've got my tripod, yeah. yeah. So, so I can take a picture of it at least. And you can do a bit of video as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and there's a ladder over there as well if you need it, hunt. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, just to summarise the session, really, it ended up for me paying to move. Hopefully, it ends up paying for Dad. Still got a bit of time yet, another couple of hours. So, um, all in all, dropping on to Tees Valley for a 24. I mean, I am absolutely chuffed to bits with that because, as I've said before, it's been a long, hard slog trying to not blank on it. So, um, obviously, I, want to, I wanted to get into something a bit bigger, but um, 16 and a half is still a decent fish, so I'm happy with that. What for yourself, Dad? Yeah, hopefully I can pick one up because uh, the last time I was here I blanked, so uh, uh, it'll be a double blank if uh, if I don't pick something up. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll. It's uh, one of them, though, isn't it? Hours. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, I think I've done over ten sessions on it, and only, mm. this is the second time that I've caught. So, and I've heard many people say the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it's it can be tough. It, There's it a lot is. of bait going in all the time, and yeah. a lot of angling pressure. So it's yeah. tough. So. Um, we'll see yeah we'll see but yeah um if you uh if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't already hit the subscribe button and hit the alert bell to get notifications and the next one i think is going to be drayton so that could be pretty chaotic 48 hours at drayton so tune in for that there might be some footage after this if he manages to get something but again thanks for watching bye